Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with iOperReviews.com, and uh, we had some camera problems, so I'm going to be reviewing the software for this mouse before I actually upload the video of the mouse itself. Um, now I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos recently, so let me just explain that and give you guys a little update real quick. Um, I actually started working last week, so I've been, uh, even though I'm part time, I worked about uh, 20 hours since last Wednesday. Um, I haven't had any days off and I'm still interning on Saturdays when I can. So I've been pretty busy. Um, today was my first day off. I have today and tomorrow off. And then I actually signed up to cover a shift um, when I was working 6 to 11 Thursday. So I'm working 11 to 11 Thursday, um, which I really don't mind. Um, just making more money, so it's okay with me. But I picked up this mouse at Best Buy today. And uh, this is the software where you can customize all the buttons and everything. On this side, you have the top view of the mouse. Uh, you can customize what the little thumb button does, which I have it set to click, so I can click with my thumb too. Um, this one I have just set the screen capture. This is the mode shift button, which I'll explain more when I do the video of the mouse. But when you push it, you might be able to hear this on the uh, mic. You can hear the mouse make a little click. Um, that changes this between like a little like when you scroll you know it stops like it clicks every time you scroll or you can change it to just like a free scroll where it just kind of free wheels and moves smoothly um, so you can change between that you can also set it um, or if you click on where was it if you go to point and scroll you can make it uh, change automatically um, so where it will take the little ratchet part off automatically um, and or if you want to put it on a fixed mode you can uh, change it here and not have it change on the mouse but I turn the smart uh, thing off so it won't do it automatically but I can push this center button right here to change it right here you have your battery indicator which again I'll show you on the video when I do the mouse um, then you have you can um, you have your um, little third uh, or your second scroll wheel here which I just set it to change the volume so that's pretty cool you can set it between all these different things uh, switch between desktops so you can see it move um, so, uh, show and hide notifications uh, brightness control doesn't count because I'm on a desktop and it's a uh, Mac Pro so it's not an iMac with a screen um, but you can change all those and these oops I actually just set that twice um, but yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna probably change these to something else, but I'll do that after the video. You can see the battery level down here, and you can see the button to add devices with the unifying receiver or set up a Bluetooth device. My Mac doesn't support uh, Bluetooth smart devices, which is which is what this mouse uses, so I have to use the little USB receiver, which is okay. Um, but that's the software that you can control the mouse with. It's fairly easy to use. Um, it pretty much gives you little dots on stuff you can customize and stuff like that so it's really simple to figure out what you can and can't do but that is the logitech option software this has been Colin with reviews.com and again again my camera deleted the video file of the actual mouse itself so i will re-record that tomorrow after my camera charges but this has been Colin with reviews.com don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and most importantly have a great day